good Sunday afternoon to you here in Jakarta. It's almost 3 p.m. And I usually do my vlog, of course, on Sunday and post it later on, as promised. So, um, actually, I promised to make the difference of custom or behavior between Italians and Indonesians when it comes to sitting at a restaurant. All right. For many, many years, I've been, of course, having my meals at the restaurants the majority of my time being with my late husband was with him or mostly was with his family or his friends, be it in Milan or in Sicily or in Rome, be it at the restaurant or in their house. So this is the difference. What I like about Italian's way of serving a meal is you know already the structure the custom, what does it consist of, and what do they do exactly. Okay, you know very well that when you go to Italian invitation to their house or to a restaurant is, if you go to a, let's say, pizzeria, pizzeria, okay, not pizzeria, Pizzeria, that means plural pizza, which is called in Italy pizzeria, not pizzeria like in America or all over the world, is never order wine or alcohol when you go to pizzeria, pizza place. Either you order beer, which is the majority of Italian people order, to go with the pizza or water for the children maybe the soft drinks or coca-cola but that's about it please do not order other beverages than those beverages in Italy I'm talking about second never ever order pizza and spaghetti or pasta. Pizzeria is for pizza only. When you go to an Italian restaurant or trattoria, which is a little bit lesser in grade, but good as well, sometimes it's even better because it's much more authentic and old-fashioned and rustic, then you order the whole um, Enchiladas, so to speak. So let's say if you are very, very hungry, you can order the antipasti. Antipasti is like the appetizers. Or you can skip to primo. Primo is pasta. Any type of pasta, whether it's spaghetti or... And never, never expect spaghetti is served with meat, minced meat or ground beef the Americans would call it, either with cream sauce for certain pasta, like tagliatelle, you know, the flat, like kuei tiao type of pasta, if Asians would want to know exactly, or different kind of shapes of pasta, like the... Uh, not clams, but you know the. Uh, oh, you see, I don't know it, what it is, but the fusilli or the orecchia. Orecchia is like the ears shape, or the thin, thin pasta, which I hardly see outside of Italy. Is called. Tagliolini, yes, I see, but there's even 
smaller than that. Oh, you know what? I never, never saw outside of Italy and which was my favorite. Thanks to my husband, he introduced me to that pasta in this restaurant that is so good the way they serve. It's called Palia e Fieno. Palia e Fieno. Okay. So it's thin and then it's served with cream and uh, tomato sauce combined. Oh my God, it's so delicious. Oh my God, it's so delicious. That one. Then the main course or the secondo, they call in Italy, is steak or fish that comes with either boiled vegetables with olive oil and um, vinegar or balsamic that you will put yourself they don't put that for you or salad and french fries or boiled potatoes hardly mashed potatoes you don't see mashed potatoes in the restaurants that people order and then you accompany that with red wine for the meat of course and white wine for the fish meal and then for dessert then you can order anything tiramisu profiterole um, uh, semifredo or affogato okay semifredo is more like ice cream and you pour uh, coffee but I call what I make here affogato also which is more like a dense ice cream round dense ice cream and that's it they don't pour coffee so i'm wrong in my video that i call affogato it's more semi fredo what i what what i should have called so that's that's the italian way even in the house when you're invited to friends or family that's how they serve if it's pizza pizza which hardly is served at home they always serve the full order of the whole meal. That's why it takes like two hours just to sit there and enjoy. And that's what I miss the most in Indonesia. Okay. So, and then you can order the digestives, which is limoncello or grappa after the coffee. Never order cappuccino, only espresso if you want to drink coffee. Other than that, you might as well do not order coffee if you didn't order espresso. And that's it. That's it. So it's expected, it's proper. The pasta always in small portion because of the continuation of the order of the meal. So you don't serve the pasta plenty you know on the plate uh, never do that and that's italy that is in italy italians america is different it's totally different so i'm not going to bring that up because i never lived in america except very very brief period in los angeles that's it so now come out of Italy then you start seeing people order anything at any time no order eating at any time and whatever and that's what I find it hard to adjust which up to this day I cannot do that for example okay here we Indonesian people we don't drink so it's all water that's at home and with different kinds of dishes and the staple of course is rice that's it different kind of dishes if you like fish meat vegetables all mixed peanut sauce a lot of peanut sauce and a lot of chilies and water that's it you serve on the table like a buffet whereas in Italy is always sitting dinner preferably they don't serve buffet never never or uh, serve buffet always sitting dinner is much more intimate 
also. It's, it's lovely. I love that about Italian custom. In Indonesia, everything's on the table, either buffet or sitting, but hardly sitting actually, it's more buffet. So that's one. And then here, you can drink anything. You know, you go to the restaurant, you see all these kids especially, or you know, even adults, you hardly see water they order. What they order is Coca-Cola, is uh, Sprite, uh, a cappuccino next to the Italian food thinking that that's what you order and if and this is in Italian restaurant for example but other than that in generic restaurant they order anything anything it can be cake next to the meal it can be uh, 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 what do you call ice cream next to the meal there's no order they eat, they order anything they can they can order Japanese and then it, Italian at the same time you know because here we have a lot of also coffee shops from the international hotel it's five-star hotel but they have everything here so people they order randomly they can have you know Indonesian food next to it is Japanese or French all there there's no wine that's Indonesian uh, they don't drink at all so that is the majority of Indonesia they just eat everything randomly there's no order and that's difficult for me to to adjust to this day and I make it a point that I don't do that you see in every country there are pluses and minuses right so when I was in, in Italy it wasn't planned but I just used my common sense and my inner self and that was to always not tap into the negative sides of the of a, of, a, of a nationality or of a country. So I see there were certain things that didn't go with my personality or didn't go with, with my, 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 you know, sense of self. Uh, I avoid it. That's Italy. For example, in Italy, they, they love being negative because being negative for me, uh, it's a synonym of being humble, but it's wrong in my humble opinion. Uh, either they're too exuberant or too uh, victimized or complaining, very whiny. That's Italy. And you accept it that way. In Indonesia, they don't talk much. You know, they're very, very uh, soft, but, but no depth in their talk. No depth in Indonesia. In Italy, also no depth, but... Um, and, and the, 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 the ironic side of living in Italy, you know, all these tourists, they come and they look for all this art and, uh, you know, expecting Italian people talking about art. And Italian people don't talk about art. No, not at all. On the contrary, they talk so banal, so banal sometimes that you don't learn anything in Italy because of the people just talk everything so banal. You see how only when you go to a live in a country, then you know the real of how the people are, you know? You can't generalize by evaluating from outside. You have to live in a country, and especially if you speak the language, then you get to know the quirkiness of their, 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 their nation, you know, what ticks them, what doesn't tick them, what makes them angry, what, uh, what um, uh, com uh, humor they don't find funny, things like that, you know, and I had to do a lot of just adjustments in Milan for that. So the same in Jakarta, uh, people are not deep in their talks. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, here is more superficial. Everything is superficial here, but very materialistic in Jakarta. Very, very materialistic. So, you know, who owns what and who, where and, you know, what they have, what they have or what the, they don't have. I'm keeping myself to myself in Jakarta because I've already, like, written in uh, 
my Facebook page that I'm fulfilled. I don't have any desire to prove anything to anybody anymore. I am happy, I am fulfilled, I'm content. But these are the differences between Indonesia and Italy or Italy and Indonesia where I always have to switch. Every time I live in this country or I find myself in this country, for example, in Italy, I have to talk louder. I have to talk more emphatically and, of course, with a lot of gesticulations, you know that. But in Indonesia, you don't need to speak loud. You speak very slow and soft, you know, or, you know, joking in a jokey way. Jakarta is more jokey way when you speak, but not in a clownish way, but yeah, in a, you know, in a, in a, in matter of fact, leeway, and that's Jakarta. So those are the differences between two countries that I always have to adjust wherever I find myself in, you know, and uh, with my life in Jakarta, I insist on structure down to the meal. I, insti I uh, insist on structure so it has, a, it has order. If it's Indonesian, Indonesian, that's it, you know. But I'm not going to be Indonesian in a way where I order all kinds of things and drink all kinds of things at the same time or on the table. No, I don't do that. So, so that's all that uh, you, know, you do in life, whatever makes you comfortable in the custom of the people that you happen to meet or in the country you happen to live in. Just do accordingly, you know, for your own self on how to get by or how to get along or how to get on with life. And that's my tips for today for my vlog on Sunday. What's the day today? What is the day today? No, I can't see. 20th is it already? No, it's not because my guest, my bed and breakfast guests are here. Uh, they're going to live only on Wednesday if I'm not mistaken. So another three days. But you know, every guest that have stayed here, they are also fascinating to listen to when they talk and the things that they say and the things that they like or they don't like, the things that they, they ask or don't ask, you know. So I am so appreciative in meeting these different kinds of people from different kinds of countries, staying in my home, you know. Oh my God, you know, I don't need to travel or to go and meet people. But just being here and meeting all these interesting people in my own fairy place. <laughs> so I'm just so, so, you know, marveled and delighted by my situation. That still striving for more stableness. Is there a word stableness? But uh, I'm enjoying in this journey of being a widow and an owner of bed and breakfast a business in my own villa. Okay, ciao, ciao. You have a good Sunday and talk to you on Wednesday. Please, if you have any questions again, or if you have anything that you'd like to share with me, please write down below. And please, if you enjoyed any of my video, please click on that subscribe. I always have difficulty in saying subscription button uh, for notification if you like. Otherwise, just to subscribe to my channel. Thank you in advance and you have a good week ahead. Ciao, ciao.